Hey everyone, I'm just outside of Wrightwood, California on Wright Mountain. And uh, this is a fun hike. Most people do this hike from Wrightwood. They go up something called the Acorn Trail, which is pretty uh, on the shorter side and steep. I like to do it a different way. I like to start at Inspiration Point, which is down the Angeles Crest Highway, and then follow what's called uh, the Blue Ridge along here on the PCT, where we're gonna get some great views of all of the high peaks, Baden-Powell, we see down to the Mount Wilson area, and then obviously Mount Baldy, Big Iron, Pine Mountain. It's really, really spectacular. It's about 12 miles round trip and about 2,500 feet of climbing. It's also unique in the fact that you uh, start in Angeles National Forest, and when you get up to Wright Mountain, you're in San and Bernardino National Forest. So that's also kind of a cool uh, aspect of this hike. Now, as always, if you want to do it, I have a full guide on hikingguide.com where I'll have the map, the GPX file, parking, all of the logistical stuff and the technical stuff that you need to do the hike. So check that out. And as always as well, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your support. I could not do these without your help. So any little thing that you do helps me watching a video, going to the website, telling your friends about this. I, I appreciate all of it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And it's always great to meet all of you out on the trail. In the last two weeks, I've met so many people uh, and and uh, please say hello to me if you see me. And uh, as, as always as well, if you're liking the video, if you can give me a thumbs up, that helps too. So thank you for that. Anyway, let me uh, show you this cool, cool hike. The views are uh, breathtaking. So let's boogie. Now the hike starts at Inspiration Point and there's a massive parking lot and a toilet here. And you do need a permit to park here, but it is an easy place to park for this hike. I'm just gonna go across the street. You're gonna see that gate for East Blue Ridge Road, which is closed for most of the year, but it is open in the summer, so heads up. But we're gonna head on to the PCT, and we're gonna be taking the PCT for most of the way, all the way up to Wright Mountain. When we come up to the top of that little hill there, we'll get nice views of Mount Baldy in the distance and Pine Mountain. And then off to the right a little bit will be uh, Big Iron, but really nice views as we go here. And in the beginning, we cross the road a few times. We actually cross the road a few times uh, during the entire hike, but it's always pretty easy. You can see there's trail markers for the PCT on either side of the road, and it's a pretty, uh, pretty straightforward operation. Even here, where we come down to this wider section of road, uh, there's the trail right over there that we just need to find on the other side and go up. And again, there's, uh, there's signs here and it's all really well marked as we continue along the PCT. In the beginning, it's an uphill. Overall, it's a little bit of a roller, but you can see at this point, we've left the road for a little bit and we're on a nice single track going along the side of the Blue Ridge. And we're going to start sort of inching uphill. There are steeper sections like this, but it's not too bad overall. It's pretty straightforward. Um, and we do have a downhill and an uphill again as we go. It's a little bit of an up and down. You can see the views are spectacular from here, which is one of the reasons why I like to come this way. Over here on the left, we're going to pass the first ski area, which is all part of the Mountain High Ski Resort. There's actually been a ski area and recreation area up here for almost 100 years, and I'll talk about the history on the guide if that's your thing, but you can check it out. And if you look down to the right when we get the ski area, you can see down into uh, Bear Gulch down there. All the way back down to sort of civilization, you can kind of pick your way through the valleys if you wanted to kind of come out and exit the area if you wanted to look down those hills, but we're not gonna do that, obviously. We're gonna go along the ridge climb up among the pines. I love this pine that you go underneath, twist it over at a 90 degree angle. So, so cool. And as we go up, we're gonna pass a couple of these reservoirs that the ski area uses. I think they use this to make the artificial snow. I think they pump that out into the snow machines and they blow that out. But we're gonna go past that first one. And there's gonna be another one in a, a few minutes here as we continue along the ski areas. Here we are back at the road, and again, it can be a little tricky because we have to go on the road for a second, but you see the trail is up there, and then we're back on the single trail PCT as we continue along here. It's also a little bit downhill at this point. We've done the climbing, and now we're rolling downhill. Here's the Blue Ridge Campground. We're going to go on the PCT to the right of it over there. If you want to use the toilet, there are, are some toilets. You just have to go inside the, the campground a little bit. It's a nice place to camp. Guffy is nicer. We'll see Guffy in a second. But uh, if you want to camp here and do this as an overnight, you can as well. 
At this point, we're going to cross the uh, ski slopes, and you can see on the other side, you have the trail, and then down there are parts of the uh, chairlifts and everything. There's not a whole lot of this, but a little bit. There's a nice view of Baldy in the distance covered in snow. Up on the left is the fence around the last reservoir that we'll be passing. And when we come down onto the road here, we're going to stay in the road for a second, and then you're going to look for a turn to the left by this white gate, and there's a little trail sign. And you can look in there. This is the water they collect again for the uh, ski area. And we're just going to follow this gate until the end, just a few minutes, and go across the big junction, and you'll see the PCT is right in front of us once again. And again, a nice sign here. At this point, we're going to hop on the PCT, and we're not going to see the road for a little bit. We're actually going to hop on the road in a little bit, but we have a nice section of single track on the north side of the ridge here that really feels like you're away from all the development. Some nice big pines and your standard kind of PCT San Gabriel Mountain feel as we continue along here. Then when we get done at that point, we're going to be beneath the road, which is up on the right there. And we're going to look for the narrow point here, and I marked this in the GPX file on the map, but we're just going to climb up, and we're going to do a short stretch on the road because the views are spectacular. I don't know where else you get views like this in the San Gabriels. They're pretty good here, but we're going to hop on the road and just continue down in the same direction. And right away, you're going to get clobbered with this nice view of Baldy and Pine Mountain. Really awesome. Off to the right is um, Big Iron Mountain. And if you want to come back this way, you can come back this way as well. And then we're going to switch over to the other side of the ridge in the road. There's Wright Mountain, first time we can see it. And then behind Wright Mountain, and that bigger peak is uh, Mount San Gorgonio over in San Bernardino National Forest. There's Big Iron directly in front of us as we look over here. If you look back, you can see Baden Powell up ahead and even down into the Mount Wilson, Mount Harvard area from here. The views are uh, some of my favorite here in the National Forest. There's Baden-Powell. This is the one point. Once we go through that gate and it opens up again, you have an unobstructed panorama from Baden-Powell across to Baldy, which is right there in front of us. Big Iron's the one in the middle. But I could just sit here on a chair and look at these mountain views all day. Really, really nice. And when you come back, like I said, you can come back along the road as well. It's a little bit easier than the PCT or switch back and forth. Now, as we descend down here, we're going to hop off the road in a little bit at Guffey Campground. And once we go down here, you can see there's going to be a little turn off to the left. We're going to take this turn off to the left into Guffey. And Guffey is probably my favorite campground. This is actually a pretty good uh, overnight hike if you want to do it. You can see here's the entrance to the campground. We're just going to go straight uh, once we get to that big intersection for the loop through the campground. And then we're going to get into the campground where there's these parking spaces, benches, there's toilets here. And look at these views from that campsite. Really impressive Pine Mountain over there. And we walk around the loop. We're going to just cut across the uh, area to the right here. There's not an official trail that joins the PC, but it's probably 50 60 feet or so just downhill and you can see here's the PCT again and we're just going to hop back on the PCT. Guffey's actually a popular spot for um, people on hiking the PCT. They stop here a lot. You definitely see them at that campground. We're just going to continue along the PCT and you can see we're back onto that single track. There is Wright Mountain in front of us over there. Nice views of it as we continue downhill a bit. And you can see the ridge has gotten narrow again. There's the road once again down on the right. And we're going to go ahead and cross the road. And you can see there's a lot of signs here. Not a lot of them have a lot of uh, info on them, but this whole area used to be a big recreation area uh, when it was first built. And all these campgrounds and ski areas are all part of that. And again, I'll talk about the history on the website. Here you can see the road is off to the left. There's a PCT marker, and we're going to go back onto the single track here. Now this is an interesting point. Here we're leaving San Bernardino National Forest. We're leaving Angeles National Forest, entering San Bernardino. And if you look on the other side of the sign, 
There's the uh, Angeles National Forest boundary. I think that's the only place I've ever seen anything like that. Maybe there's some other ones. Let me know if you, if you know of them. We're going to continue past that, and shortly past that is the Acorn Trail Junction. Now, the Acorn Trail goes right into Wrightwood, down to the left over there, uh, and that's another popular way to climb Wright Mountain, pretty much straight up to this point. But we're going to go straight through that junction, and we're going to come out onto the saddle, and we're going to get nice views of Wright Mountain up ahead, which is where we're going. We're going to hop off of the PCT in a second and climb up there. Now, once we go past this point, I want you to keep your eyes open for these small trails over on the left. And these small use trails are what we're going to take up to the summit of Wright Mountain. There's no official trail up there, I don't think. We're not a maintained trail. But there's this little use trail, and it can get a little rough. You can see it's definitely there. Uh, it's a little bit of a choose your own adventure. There are some breaks and everything. So make sure you bring a map and the GPX file to help you through this point. You can see it's a little bit overgrown. I'm probably the first one this season to come through here since the snow is gone, but it's a little bit overgrown. It can be hard to follow. Now halfway up the climb, there is this flat area over here with a flagpole and a flag. This is not the summit. Sometimes people think this is the summit. It's not. You can check that out. Nice views down into Wrightwood, but instead we're going to keep on going up. You can see that's the summit over there where I just pointed. We're going to keep on going up through the trees and the wooded area. And the trail kind of hooks around to the left. And there's a bunch of little trails all over the place here you can explore. But it's a wooded peak. And you're going to look for this big stone cairn here, which is the summit marker. You can also see there's a witness post on the ground. If you don't know what the witness post is, I have a good video on those. I'll link to that underneath. But that's it. Here we are at the summit. You can check it out. There is a little cliff. There are some views. If you go through the trees, just be careful. But when you're done here, you just turn around and uh, head back the way you came. All right, so here's the hike route. It's an out and back. We're going to start over here on the right at Inspiration Point and hike all along the Blue Ridge to the summit of Wright Mountain. You can see down here is Wrightwood. And if we actually take the Acorn Trail, which we're not going to do here, but the Acorn Trail goes from Wrightwood from a little residential neighborhood and goes up this ridge here and then climbs up there. But we're gonna go over here from Inspiration Point. You can see here the mountain high ski areas as we go. And you'll pass them usually if you're coming in from the east on your way in. Here's the Inspiration Point parking area, nice and big. And if we swing around, you'll be able to see very clearly how the hike parallels the road right here. And when we cross the street, I showed you a white gate. That white gate is for this Blue Ridge Road or East Blue Ridge Road, which is open in the summer, but not open otherwise. It's a dirt road. It's not popular, so don't worry about going on there and getting run over by cars. It's pretty mellow, but we're going to go up on the PCT and start climbing along the ridge. You can see the times that we've crossed the road over here that I showed you initially. And then we go away from the road, come back and cross it once again. And if I angle this up from here, let me just give you an idea of the views. So here's Pine Mountain, Mount Baldy over there. And then if you look back, we have Baden-Powell, which is always behind us over here. So really Bear Gulch down there, really great views as we uh, continue along here. Now we're gonna pass the ski area. We came up to the ski area. This is where the ski, um, the chairlifts were and the ski equipment. Here's that first reservoir. We keep making our way around. Here's the second reservoir, and that's where we made the turn off of the road, went around there. We wrapped along the north side of the ridge for a bit. And then here's the point where we hop onto, um, hop onto the road right over here. And if we went on the PCT, the PCT actually goes around this way, but we're going this way so that we get those great views of the mountains over here. But from there, we're going to come back on over. This was Guffey Campground over here. We're going to go into Guffey. Come over in here. This is the border. This is Angeles National Forest. This is San Bernardino National Forest. Come on over. Here's the uh, intersection with the Acorn Trail. We're going to continue over. You can see the PCT splits off here and continues this way. We're going to split up, go up Wright Mountain. There's the flag, and then there is the summit over here. And then that's the hike. And again, if you want to take the road back, you can definitely do it. And you can just look at a map. If you want to cut some distance off, you can see you could just kind of cruise up on the road here 
and there's certain places where the road might make more sense if you just want to get home. But if you like the trail, you could just do the trail too. It's up to you. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoy the hike. This is one of my favorites and I'll, uh, I'll see you out there. Bye. Thank you.